Okay. And then finally, the board approved uh, about six and a half million dollar contract to build what will be very welcome news to folks who live and work around the Pentagon City neighborhood with for a second elevator at that Pentagon City Metro station. Um, why was that such a priority? What was the need there? Well, I'll just briefly say, if you look at the pictures, that the um, there's a need for accessibility and and that uh, second elevator is going to provide. Uh, accessibility, and uh, this is also uh, the sort of, um, you know, transportation infrastructure is so critical, and so that's why this is a, a good project. But I know you've also worked on this, Christian. There's economic development benefits to this as well. So, Absolutely. We've been uh, working on this for a while. It's been a priority, uh, and it's been a, a complicated uh, maze to navigate through not only our processes, but working with the um, Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority on making sure that this could get prioritized. And, you know, look, anyone who's visited the Pentagon City Metro Station understands the the, the key deficiency there. We've only got one uh, elevator that exists on the Costco side. Uh, we don't have one that exists on the Fashion Center side. So people need to cross uh, Hay Street, which I don't know, what's that, six lanes of traffic plus a bike lane? in order to do that. So this is very much about mobility for people who are um, ambulatory impaired, people who are with strollers, packages, whatever. Um, it also, with the amount of uh, development uh, that we have going on all throughout the area, this is gonna be an important relief valve. We also know that sometimes uh, equipment fails. So when one elevator is out, and you only have one elevator available, then you have lots of inconvenience and disruption. So this will provide some redundancy. And uh, I'm, for, I'm, I'm really thrilled that part of uh, what this uh, allocation will do is also to improve the existing elevator, uh, give it a little bit of a, a, an aesthetic upgrade so it better matches the surrounding environment. So I, I love the access and I love the uh, ability that this can really serve what is an extremely important and uh, significant transit corridor throughout the region. One that's going to continue to grow into the future as well. Um, all right. Well, so February was another action-packed month for the Arlington County Board, from ramping up COVID-19 vaccinations to unveiling the 2022 budget to reworking the residential parking permit program and these infrastructure projects. Matt and Christian, thank you both for joining us here today and helping us break down some of these very important issues. And we hope that you will join us once again next month when we once again take a look at the key issues facing the board and our community. I'm Kara O'Donnell, and we'll see you next time.